Yeah, unfortunately, I got into the, you know, work on the hardware way too long and not finish the software problem. Excuse me, comment. Let's kind of show you a real quick overview of what this guy is. So this one I started with these, what they call mechanical wheels. So these are the omnidirectional wheels. They'll do left and right, spin, and go and walk back and forth. Um, the entire chassis was built with Lego parts, for the most part, on here. And then on the top is it basically a little Windows PC that runs OpenCV. So that could basically track the color of the objects. I forget where the cans are, I forget where my goal is, hopefully where the other player is at the same time. Just kind of show you how it runs here real quick. But on the front here, I have some similar things. So I have uh, three infrared sensors from the bottom, one going forward, these two go out 45 degrees. Next to my little exit to the can. Um, let me grab a can here. And then there's a bar on the front of it. So the bar is basically my feedback to make sure that the robot has found the can. When it closes, it pushes back this bar that's on the front here. It, so I got that. So we'll push back the bar. So we'll push back that bar. So, that's so, so Eric, let me get this right. So the, the little bumper you have inside your claw isn't to bump into the can and know the can is there. It's no. when the can, when the claw closes, it gets moved. Right. Okay. Yeah, I found out, especially when the cans are completely empty. This. This Lego has too much of a spring on it, and it'll just shove the can over. It, okay. it won't feedback on, on that. So basically, I'm depending upon the camera here to figure out, okay, there's a can generally in, in front of the robot, and then hopefully the sensor can pick up the, the left and right position of the can to center it on there. What brand of infrared sensors are those? Uh, they're from mindsensors.com. And then, um, as far as the wheels go, basically, so they'll spin around in the direction and then to the left, to the right. So we'll cap lock it. So it's important that. So they have plate movement on there. And the idea as far as getting the robot recentered when it gets screwed up is there are bumpers on both sides. So we just gotta have the robot just keep moving sideways to hit the wall. So that will square it up again. Just gotta figure out where I am in space for that. And hopefully by this competition I'm gonna work on getting the camera to reach lifts. I'm going to put two glyphs on, on the back side of the goal to figure out where the goal is at. So it's kind of hard to see a little tiny thin blue line going around it. And also just to orient where we're at that. So, on that. So what are those going to be, your glyphs? Just, just a you mentioned color dot or something? No, it's going to be a square about that big with a little pattern on it. Oh, okay. So, you know, yeah. Something a little simple. <laughs> um, is, that, is that allowed though? But it, well, it's stick yeah. stuff on the goals. Behind, behind the goal again. Oh, off the side. Yeah, off the side. Behind. Okay. All right. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't be. You can't. You can't. You have to be beyond the sides of the of the goal. But you can go on for infinity, as long as somebody with some young girl with uh, pink shoes doesn't step in the way. <laughs> yeah, and of course, the big the big downside here because I'm using I'm the brain and the division system. If somebody else has like you know a bright orange robot, John, uh, <laughs> you have a hard time figuring out you know what's a can and what's the, what's the What's the other robots? Um, although I can use some of the shape detection to figure out how big it is and find outlines to help it figure. You know, if it's a huge blob, it's obviously not a can on there. But yeah, so next competition. Hopefully, I'll be all ready to go for that one. Just gotta finish the code on it. Yeah. Eric, so in your case, you're not using odometry at all, right? No, I'm not. Okay, so this should be. So this is a different, definitely a different approach that. Be yeah, cool so, to see. So uh, I may depend on the camera to give me my where the can is located at. Yeah. And I depend upon these bumpers here to get myself realigned if I'm out of placement. Okay. Okay. How do you get it to go sideways? What do you? Uh... Well, each motor, each wheel here is at 45 degrees. So basically, when it spins, it's going to want it's going to want to push it at 45 degrees. So this 45, that 45 is going to go 90. And it's going to push it straight to the side. So in other words, one back drive, one forward, yeah. you're right. side there. These are opposites. If, if you have okay. the wheels turning in opposite directions. Yeah. So it'll, it'll, it'll spin. So 
literally go in, in opposite directions. And now that'll just do it. So these bits go, go in, those will go out, and they'll cause it to go sideways. So with this, with this uh, topology, you don't turn. There is no need to turn. No. No, I was going to say. Yeah, I mean, you can already turn, or can you turn if you want to? Yeah, no, I, I can. I, I can spin around, then I'm going to change where I'm at, because I, I have no feedback. The problem, too, is these wheels kind of, because they're just, they're, they're free floating, so accuracy is not going to be there. <laughs> so it's going to get out by a little bit, and you'll never know. So you can skip, once you stop the motors, you can just keep on going by inertia, and you will lose. A little bit. So odometry is literally used. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of play in, in just the, the extra motion of the wheels. So I have a general idea where I am, but not exactly where I am. <laughs> but no, for the contest, I was basically going to keep it going straight forward and around, hit the wall, turn, find a can, grab it, and then basically go back and forth until I can see the goal. But I assume that won't be the enemy, and then go forward. And all while just keep it in one direction at all, at all times. But we'll see, once I get the glyphs up there, that'll give me some external feedback to where I'm at. They probably do some more things with moving around. It might be QBG. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Fifteen. 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 F